Hey everybody, I'm Salavalo. I have been to every single country in the world, but for the past six months, I have remained still just here in Abu Dhabi, which has been the longest amount of time in the past 15 years of my life that I've gone without getting on a plane, without going to another country. And it's been beautiful, but also has driven me a little bit crazy because I, um, you know, I love traveling. I do it a lot. It gives me a lot of energy and a lot of joy. I always love seeing new things. And so just being stuck at home um, has been nice at times, but also has made my imagination about travel just uh, explode. And so I usually spend a lot of time always uh, you know, thinking about where I want to go next and planning trips and just like thinking about what places excite me. But especially lately, uh, I have been, been doing this in overdrive. And so I thought that I would share a series of the places that I've been thinking about traveling to the most. Um, who knows when we'll be able to, to travel? Who knows when it'll make sense? There won't be quarantine times, etc. So I'm not sure when I will get to these places, but I'm definitely thinking about it. So uh, today I wanted to talk about a place I've been dreaming of getting back to, or a region I've been dreaming of getting back to uh, for a long time. And that, you know, quarantine has only made me think even more, uh, like significantly about. And that is the South Pacific and Oceania. So I have done you know, maybe seven trips, I guess, uh, to that part of the world. And from, I guess, 2013 until 2017, I went like every single year, at least once. You know, the places that I've spent the most time uh, kind of makes sense are Australia. I've been three different times, uh, but really only to Sydney and around Sydney and to, um, to Melbourne, which I really loved as well. And then New Zealand, I actually worked in New Zealand for a summer uh, in 2015. And so I spent uh, two or three months there um, back when I was a management consultant. And so that was really exciting. I got to travel around quite a bit of the country. And that was my second time there because when I was 17, I had also spent about two or three weeks in New Zealand with a friend of mine. Uh, but as much as I love New Zealand and Australia, the places that I'm actually really yearning get back, to get back to are like the smaller islands. And I kind of think about it in my head as the Pacific has like two different, you know, like types of vibes, I guess, right? So you have the posh, like resorts and paradises. Uh, and then you have kind of the more homegrown, less developed, uh, but maybe a little bit like more, um, uh, you know, like cultural or like easier to be exposed to the cultural side um, of the islands. And I think I want a little bit of both. Like I've always enjoyed to have, to have both, you know, maybe spend a week in a resort and a week uh, you know, finding a homestay or something. But I'm not sure where exactly I would want to go. So some of my favorite places, I loved when I went to Kiribati. Uh, I just had like really good experiences there with lots of different food and the people were so welcoming. I also love Tuvalu, the least populated country in the world, only 10,000 people. When you're in these really remote places, it creates really interesting kind of insular societies and fascinating cultures that are very different from anything else you would would know. Similarly, Nauru was really interesting, you know, like uh, one of the smallest islands, takes like 40 minutes to go around it, also only 10,000 people, um, which creates really interesting um, vibes. I've never been to a few specific types of places as well. I've never been to French Polynesia, which obviously is part of France, so it wasn't part of the every country journey, but I'd love to go see it, like Tahiti, obviously Bora Bora. I would love to, um, you know, to, to just like go with, uh, you know, a beautiful girl and spend a week in a resort or something and tea, obviously that's would be a dream. I would also uh, love to go to some of the outer islands of some of the countries that I like. So for example, in Kiribati, you know, I only was on Tarawa in, um, in uh, Marshall Islands. I was also only on the main island. Um, Micronesia, which is a country built of you know, about, you know, it's called Federated States of Micronesia because it has like 
four different main states and um, I only went to Koh Sare, so it would be interesting to go and see maybe some of the other parts. Yeah, I'm not sure like where exactly I'd wanna go. Every time that I was in the Pacific, I would always make sure that I saw both the sunrise and the sunset um, because just like this wide expanse of like open, huge ocean and you know, the sun was just bigger than you could ever imagine. And I don't know, there was just something so magical about every country that I visited there. And I haven't been back since I was doing my every country journey. Yeah. So I haven't been back since 2017. It's the only like region of the world that I haven't been back to, I think, in the last three years, I guess, because I've done a lot of South America, a lot of all parts of Africa, kind of, you know, Europe a few times, uh, a lot of India. Yeah, I've, I've kind of like done everywhere in the past three years, but I've never, I haven't gone back to the Pacific Islands. So... I need to get going and I need to get out there again. Also, you know, when traveling to the Pacific, there's a few different topographies that are interesting to explore and I'd love to see both. So you have like the mountainous islands, you know, so like Samoa and parts of the Solomon Islands, um, you know, that are the the peaks of, of like underwater mountains. And then you have uh, like the atolls, which is the ring of a caldera, like the underwater volcano. You know, so it's just like a small circle of islands that are very flat. You know, these are the places that you hear about a lot when they're talking about climate change and like rising sea levels because they have like no elevation at all. And um, so it's interesting to see like both kind of places. I think if I could only go to like one or two would be Samoa and Tonga. I first visited them when I was working in New Zealand and I visited them over like three day weekends each. So I did, you know, three days in Samoa, three days in Tonga. And it was mostly like in a resort to relax. And in each place I like rented a car for a day and like drove all around and explored. But I think that would be cool to do again, to be able to get out and see more of each of those countries. You also have ones that are um, like, quite a bit larger than what people expect. So both like Vanuatu and the Solomon Islands have like quite large populations, like hundreds of thousands, which is, I think Solomon Island has like over half a million people and like quite spread out. And so there, you know, there's so much to see. It's not just one island, there are thousands of islands, you know, big chains of islands. So I think that would be interesting to go back to, honestly, anywhere. I think I'd be happy to, like spend a year just like exploring different parts of Oceania. I mean, it would be amazing. Like it would be so exciting. And just because I haven't been in three years and it used to be like such a fun part to go once a year everywhere in the um, one of these islands, get those like divine sunsets. And so I haven't had that in a long time and I miss it. And so it would be really nice to go back explore some of these cultures that I, I know very little about, even after having visited all of them. And so I've been thinking about it a lot and I wanted to share with you guys kind of my thoughts, not super structured, but COVID's weird, you know, like being stuck at home and just uh, usually when I want to go someplace, I just go. Like I'm very much a uh, like go to the airport and buy a ticket kind of guy or buy a ticket for this weekend. I, I don't do much planning and, you know, I like to go with the flow of my mood. Like if I want to travel, I'll just go. You know, like it's always been easy for me to do, especially Abu Dhabi so well located that it's easy to do, you know, five days in Africa, five days in India, five days in like Europe. It's like so, everything's so close. And um, not being able to do that right now is like kind of crazy because I've never, uh, like if I've wanted to travel, I've always been able to. And so, this kind of, you know, I'm always daydreaming about the cool places I want to go, but not knowing when I can is, like, is so frustrating. And so I just thought I would share these couple places with you guys that I've been thinking about. So, you know, let me know down in the comments what you think about the South Pacific, about Oceania, if you've been and what your favorite part is or some where I should go or look into going and help me in my travel daydreaming. You know, of course, subscribe to the channel. There'll be lots more videos. Um, 
like this. Hope you enjoy my just kind of, uh, you know, free flow of thoughts about these places. Hopefully we will get to see uh, some travel videos from these places soon and we'll be able to get out. But until then, everybody stay safe and stay at home. And uh, I will talk to you guys again soon.